Welcome guys, back in action. It's been a little while. Uh, today we're heading to the Broadwater. The mackerel are around, there's squid around, so we're going to take some jigs and see what we can jig up. I don't have any bait. Oh, I've got some white bait on board, but I'm not going to primarily use bait. I'm just going to put a dead bait out there just in case. Uh, we've got a big tide running in. It's been a little while since I've done a video. I, I went down to Tassie and my intention was to catch some fish down in Tassie and film a little bit of Tassie action for you guys. But, unfortunately, I couldn't catch a bloody fish down there. So, that was a bit of a problem when you're trying to make content catching fish. So, uh, pretty eager to get back and get some fish today. I've been a little bit sick and I've been busy with work since I got back. So, be uh, good to bring you along with me and hopefully we can get some fish in the boat. And I'll show you these new jigs that I've been using for quite some time but are working really, really well. They catch everything. So hopefully you'll get something out of this video and you'll be able to use those and catch yourself a feed of fish with those as well. So off to the boat ramp we go and I'll switch the camera back on and show you these jigs once I get the boat in the water. So, this is what we're using today. We're using the Eco Gear ZX range. They're a uh, like a metal blade lure, and what happens is when you hop them across the bottom and jig them, they vibrate really intensely, and it must sound or, or feel like a distressed fish because it activates the strike instinct on any fish that are around, and you hook up like crazy on these. So, if there's any fish around today, these are going to do the damage. They're so good that I don't even worry about taking bait most of the time when I go fishing. I don't use yabbies. I don't use anything except for these now. So um, I'll get some on the on the uh, on my line, and we'll get out there into the zone, and uh, hopefully we can get some fish on them. We've got another squid on here. I just changed spots to get out of the wind. It feels like we got a good one on. Yep. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, no. Damn it. Drop it back down and see if he comes back for it again. That sucks when that happens. Okay, so we've got another squid on the eco gear. I'm just gonna bring him in gently. I lost one just before. We'll see how we go with him. He's not fighting much. Well, he's a tiny, tiny little one. I could just about eat him whole. So how's that? I'm not sure if you can see that guy in the in the sun there, but he has just loved that little jig. <laughs> How cool is that? <clears throat> you know, I never, I never ever get tired of catching these things. They're just so much fun. And uh, they just can't resist these, these eco jigs. They're amazing. All right, so I'm gonna probably throw him back and uh, he can grow up and get a little bit bigger and I'll lead his mum and dad. The lights got the better of us now. I did have to motor around a fair bit to try and find somewhere that was still and that I could film because it was really, really windy when I first came out. So I lost a lot of time where I was motoring around trying to find places out of the wind when I should have been fishing and showing you catching fish on the blades, but it was just too hard with, with how bumpy and how windy it was. Um, if you like the videos, make sure you like and subscribe. If you want to get hold of some of the blades, 
Uh, you can get them from Tackle World, uh, you can get them from BCF, you can get them from any of the major online tackle retailers. They're worth having in your kit because if nothing's biting when you're fishing and you drop one of those down and nothing hits that, you know that there's there's not going to be any fish around and that you're not going to catch fish for the day. They're that they're that good at catching fish. Now because I didn't didn't catch any fish, I'll flick to some clips of me catching fish on other days on them and you can see a little bit more variety of what I've been catching. Uh, if you like the videos, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, yes, on. Yes, they took the jig. How good is that? I customise this jig too. I put on a, uh, oh yeah. I put on a treble hook instead of the assist hooks that normally go with it. So hopefully this is a bit better fish, but this is light gear, so this is giving me a great time. Hopefully it's a fish in that 50s. That's awesome. They're just such a good sport fish. So these are only little fish, but geez, they put on a good fight. Okay, in you go. Oh, no. In you go. There he is. Mackerel mayhem. That's crazy. light gear that's really cool he caught yep squid here he is ink uncle Benno ink uncle Benno Wait, what do you got on? Hey? I've got um, two fillets. Oh, yep, another squid. Yep, another. Oh, he got off. Yep, here he is. Oh no, it got off. Oh, yep, here he is. Oh, he's a better one. Kala Kala Mari! Oh, <laughs> net boy! Oh, epic. Cool. Squids! Squids! Ah! <laughs> 